and now it's time to start to try board meeting, and then we'll come back to the select board meeting. So we'd like to welcome everybody in the audience. We have some new faces. Congratulations and a welcome. And congratulations, thank you. Yeah, it's returning faces. So on the tri board agenda was um, the FY. Do we need to wrap up? Try to have, wrap up the 2016 budget discussion and decisions. Yay. <laughs> so can we, can we start with on the the April first memo? We thought we were fund. We had a two hundred and twelve thousand seven hundred and seven dollars shortfall. So can we go through the numbers and talk about where we think we are now? Yes. What has come in and out so that we're all on the same page? Mm -hmm. We do have some. Linda has I have one. She must have a little bit. Thank you. So then when we were at talking about the. Uh, Thank you. Now, Ms. Sanderson is performing her duties as the treasurer here at this meeting and not a member of the finance committee anymore. She resigned today as a finance committee member and she was sworn in as the new treasurer. So, congratulations. Yes, sir. One other. I don't like some stuff. Here. I think I have one more. I'm just cross checking. <coughs> So with that, so with that, <coughs> so the two twelve number left out the steps for the town. Okay, so plus steps it was. So fifty thousand dollars for the steps. So that brings us to 272,717. And then at the last meeting, we decided that we would increase our local revenues by $100,000. Okay. That reduces us down to 172,717. So then what, what we have for discussion, again, is we have updates on the revenues. Oh, this is from last, the last meeting. Okay. Where are those revenue? Where's the $100,000 in revenue from? We added revenue to the... Was that the revisiting the revenue projections? Yes. yes. Okay. That was, we mm -hmm. added to the... I didn't write that down. So it's not fiscally reporting free cash? No. This Did is anybody we, go there? No, not yet. Okay. Cool. I haven't forgotten that. All right, so we're at 172.772. Yes. Mm -hmm. So actually, maybe we should stop and hear what we got for a budget surprise today. Yes. So the House Ways and Means uh, promulgated their budget recommendations, mm -hmm. which goes to the House for debate. Uh, so these numbers are still in flux, but uh, the cherry sheet that was based upon the House Means Ways and Means recommendation showed that our revenues increased by 24,500, but our assessments, and these are exclusively charter school sending um, assessments, um, also increased by $100,000. So it's a net of about $75,000 shortfall based upon the governor's cherry sheet. House members have until this Friday to uh, submit uh, amendments to the budget. I've been in touch with our representative, John Seibeck, and asked him to fully fund the charter school reimbursement, which is underfunded in the House Ways and Means budget. Um, and so he's going to look at that. He hasn't had a chance to look at the, uh, the numbers. Debate will occur on April 27th, and then it's off to the Senate at that point. So these numbers will change again 
but at this point I have to report her to the bad by about $75,000. Yeah. <coughs> You're adding that to the 172? Beg your pardon? You're adding that to the 172 or the 172? Or is the one that would be added to the 172. So you're at 247. Unless we decide to ignore it until the budget's finalized. That sounds like a good plan. So the state budget is finalized yeah. until the state numbers are finalized. I got some heads shaking out there. Well, I know but I think that is generally what we do, right? Yeah. We I mean, generally use the governor's budget because the other budgets are in flux. I don't think we're doing this because it's right. better for us. So you're saying ignore it or not ignore it? I'm saying we use the governor's numbers until the budget is passed. So we're down another 75,000. So no, our number no, is 172, 770. No, so you're disagreeing, Tower? Absolutely. We always look at what the worst case scenario is, because there's nothing worse than planning on the best case scenario coming in short on what we projected for revenues, because then we have absolutely nowhere to go other than reserves, and the only reserve we would have would be to hit stabilization. So in your opinion, you'd like to assume the House budget, so now we are saying we are short another 75. And that's the House budget? Right? Correct. So now we're at short 247,717? Yeah. Are there so any now, projections on, I'm sorry, is there any projections from the Senate as to what the, we can expect from them? Well, I, th I think clearly the MMA is going to uh, focus uh, uh, almost exclusively on the charter school reimbursement because that's hurting at all Everybody. cities and towns. Uh, and I think that the um, lottery uh, money is going to say, stay pretty much the same. Chapter 70 is not going to go very far if it moves at all. So I think it's on the reimbursables for veterans and for charter school, that, that's where we're going to see any significant change in the future. Is there any historical data on the Senate's versus the House's numbers that we can project on based on? Uh, in the old days, the governor's budget was the worst. The, the House was a little bit better, and then the Senate came through with with uh, enough money. That has not been true for the last two, okay. two years, though. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. So, Gilbert, this 247717 that we are at now, assuming the House budget, that in includes or subtracts the um, savings found by the got, department heads? I haven't got there yet. All right, so let's have, can you, so let's see where we are. So, there's two items, there's two items in the budget. Um, un unemployment and workers' comp. Right. That we can change those numbers in the projected budget. So unemployment, we've been in the past. We uh, had uh, a fund of about twenty-five thousand dollars in an article, and we've been paying benefits out of that article. Uh, and then from time to time, once every three years, say we've replenished that article. Uh, Last year, I made the recommendation that we cease that practice and that we put that uh, line item in the uh, benefits uh, budget of 25000 for unemployment and march that on. We still have money left in the article, so we have $25,000 in the FY15 uh, budget that uh, we can use for other purposes or return to free cash. Um, for 2016, I don't recommend removing that because we'll probably uh, I've gone through the, uh, mm -hmm. the remaining money in that uh, article. In the um, uh, in the uh, workers' comp, the, public, the safety committee has done uh, tremendous work, and they have been able to reduce our expenses by about sixty-four thousand dollars. So that uh, budget right now is somewhere in a hundred thousand dollars, a little bit more than that. We can reduce that by fifty thousand dollars, moving that forward. Uh, assuming that we don't have a whole lot of claims on on uh, workers' comp, uh, but uh, the work of the safety committee has really paid off here. So in 15, I think we're going to have a savings of about $64,000. Knock on wood, nothing happens, and then we can reduce that that uh, request uh, going into 16 uh, and going forward. 
I'm sorry, so what does that do? So if we read, so. Brings your rate back to 172. Well, so do we agree to at 50,000 only? I think, you, I think you can set it as 50,000 rather than not. Uh, I believe the number is $111,000 right now. Can I just ask a question of the unemployment figure, that $25,000 reduction? Is that a is the equivalent of one time? That's right. So I would not reduce the 16 budget by $25,000. I'm sorry, I'm being so dense. What does this do to, we just, we well, just reduced expenses by 61,000? No. Is that the number? I think, no. I think what we're talking about for the budget that we're working on is that it seems generally reasonable to reduce the workers' comp line item by 50,000. 50, right. But the unemployment figure that was thrown out is a one-time mm -hmm. reduction, so it isn't necessarily making sense to me anyway that we would be reducing the operating budget. So I think we only did a $50,000 reduction. So how much is left in the... I thought you said we needed 50,000 and the budget was 111. Well, so currently, currently in FY15, it's 111. Uh, I, for 16, I put in 111 as well. But our performance has been very good, and I don't think we need uh, uh, 111 for 16. So I think you can reduce that to 50,000. So it is 61,000. Yeah. So we're saving 61,000. Right. So then the question is what to do with the 25. Do we not take part of, do we not take any of the 25? Do we take part of the 25 or? I, I, I wouldn't touch that. So how much is left in the revolving in that little? I don't have that number off the top of my head. But it's one time money anyway, Gilford. So I don't think we should be touching it to balance the budget. Well, if, if our, if this year's our, if our <coughs> expenses are going to be less than what we're budgeting for, it's going to get rolled back into free cash at the end of the year. It'll roll back into free cash, yeah. but if we don't want to reduce the line item. I'm just one person. Do you want to leave it? It's us. Do you want to leave it? 25? I hit one yes. Leave it. I would say leave it. Okay, so we got sixty-one thousand. Not really. I mean, uh, all, all your estimates are that it's going to stay the same, but you, you, we just don't know. Yeah, it's a huge variable. Seven seventy-two. One eighty-six. Seven seventy-two. One eighty-six. So now we have a shortfall of one eighty-six seven seventeen. Are Isn't that cool? Changes? We're back. We're back to where we're back where we, we just don't ever leave. <laughs> no, I, no, those then. those are the only two that I knew of. So unless we want to look at our revenue again. Well, did, did we go back and uh, what we recommended at, on April 1st was analyzing the free cash from FY14 to see how much of that was from either over revenue or under expense versus one time. Mm -hmm. Did we do that? And if we added that amount to the available budget? We, we actually have the printout of what we expect for this year's mm -hmm. free cash and where it came from. 15. 14 or 15. 14 or 15. It's 15. Well, that's how you got the 100,000 increase to revenue, right? It's right, right. Because right now we're looking, so right now our free cash for this year, um, our new free, the new money that will be added to our certified free cash is um, tax liens is 120, department returns is 150, overlay return is 50, and then excess local receipts is 140. We've already put 100 of that in the revenue <coughs> for this year. So that's that's what the we're expecting free cash to come from. So virtually all of that is recurring revenue. Uh, that 140 is not uh, is part of that from that meals tax that went up. That was a one time from past. Past history, yeah. Right. This is this is uh, returns on the local invest on the local receipts. Yeah. Um, so that's uh, I didn't put in the, uh, the the lump sum payment uh, from the 
from the settlement on those two restaurants okay. for the meals tax. All right. um, just looking at trends based upon the historical. Yeah, because I know those are just one-time yeah. payments. So the answer is yes, you feel like the free cash has been analyzed and what's the additional 100,000? So then the certified free cash right now is 292 and we're spending a very small amount of that town meeting. Well, that, we still need to talk that one through. I'm requesting about 91,000 of that in order to balance the uh, shortfalls in snow and ice, uh, uh, health insurance, uh, Medicare, and, uh, and uh, police overtime. So those combined uh, make up $91,000. Uh, then there was additional requests at the last select board meeting for money, and um, I'm not sure where that money would be coming from, but free cash might be part of that. So those additional requests were for the asbestos overrun and for the um, building maintenance. Um, the building maintenance, yes. But then the asbestos overrun, I thought we said it was going to come from capital. Yes. Um, there wasn't that much left in capital. Yeah, I think, I think there's only 34 in capital. I thought we spent it all with the overrun. With the, yeah, I thought we yeah. what was What was the final number of capital? Like 34,000 or something? I think it was only 34,000 yeah. without the asbestos. Yeah. There were a couple items. You don't want to hear this. We're, we're three weeks from town meeting. Right now, we're still passing numbers out over revenue, expenses, whatever is out there. Back, technically, back in January, we should have had a budget presented to the Finance Committee saying this is it. We're still tossing numbers out, 100,000, 150,000, 200,000. By the time we leave tonight, I respectfully request that we have a final budget to finance so that we can do something in the next 10 days well, I, ex I expect to do something tonight. I don't expect to leave here without something. Uh, I, okay. Well, the, I mean, it, it may be a long night, Gilbert. But it may be. It yeah. may be a very But long I want to see the numbers on paper so that we can sit down and do this. Because whenever we do this on the fly, we always find out, oh, we double counted this. Oh, we didn't count this. We triple counted this. And everyone got the... <coughs> What we're talking the revenue projections and uh, these are emailed to us. Okay, I'm just checking. So yeah, we're sure we're, we're sitting here with another sh a shortage of one eighty six seventeen seven seventeen plus. No. Yeah, because you're still looking at OPEP. You're still looking at oh, yeah. capital stabilization. Yeah. You're still looking at the warrant articles. So that hundred whatever that you're talking about could exceed 800,000. Yep. Yeah. So I don't feel comfortable as a finance committee member, I won't speak for the rest of the, the board, but I'm not gonna approve something tonight without actually sitting down and having a chance to go through for a couple of days to crunch the numbers. Well, I'm not I expecting the trike asking. me to approve it. I mean, we're just trying to get to a point and then the select force still has to say, this is what we're gonna submit to you. So I think that's what we're trying to get to tonight. Okay. I'm not expecting... An overall approval of this. You know. Okay. I'm expecting us to get down to the what we think is the best numbers and then that's gonna be what we probably present as a select board. That's so there's discussion about the colas. So in the numbers that we're working with, all of the cola increases have been deferred to the fall. For our <coughs> for the town numbers, yes. Okay. And then what about the there's an action item for the school? Well, the schools expect to have their contracts resolved before town before meeting. Before town meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's the first time I've seen teachers let this settle so fast. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Well, we're in negotiations, we really can't say we're in. I know.
trying to think. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but once again, I'm going to ask. We're sitting here trying to cobble together FY16. We could have cobbled together FY16 back in December or January within a couple hundred thousand dollars. Is this sheet dated 12-1-14 that shows the projected revenues and expenses still valid? Actually, no, because we've changed the revenue. Right. So we asked at the last meeting that I was at, I missed last meeting outside of town, to have this five-year projection summary updated. And this was the latest thing I got on the email. And that was this morning that I double-checked. What's the date on the, the date? The date on this is 12114. Yeah, we got the latest four, one seven, seven, three. Yeah. This is 47 of 2015. Could I yeah. ask for a copy of 47 since this was what was back, uh, emailed to us? No, this was what was emailed to us in the last email. Was. Uh, this is the last one I got. And then before that, I've got. So we need to come up with somehow we need to come up with reduce our budget by one. Yeah. So, so is there a differential? I mean, you've got something on one side that's revenue, something on the other side that's expenses. No, I think it's all revenue. Yeah, that's only revenue. There's no expense with that. That's all. That's all. So where's the update of the five-year projection versus the, the revenue? Well, that's the updated revenue projection for the five-year. So I, I sent it out by email. Yeah, I'm just saying, David, I checked it at 1 o'clock this afternoon, and this is the only email that I have. Let me, let me compare the numbers. I may not have changed the date on the summary, and that might have been my editorial error. So while well, Howard's looking, so we have a shortfall of 186,717, and our options are use stabilization, cut, or a combination of the two, correct? Are That's those it. the three options? That's it. And the tenor of this board is? I think it's got to be both. Yeah. I think it's got to be both. And Somehow the, it's got to be both. Do you have a, like, what? Free cash. You said stabilization. You mean free cash. Actually, I meant stabilization. Well, uh, stabilization, I don't think anybody is. I don't think I'd be going to use stabilization right now. So you're, talk you're all saying free cash? There's not that much in free cash either. Right. I mean, when you look at what we've put off to the fall. Yeah. What? Well, if you look at what we've put off to the fall, that has to be addressed. So, I mean, then you're potentially looking at not funding OPEB, right? I mean, well, if you... That, yes, yeah. which is well, why so I use right. the word stabilization. So, you, yeah. you, But you don't have any place else to go with your cash, is what you're saying. The 100000 is all you have. So you're talking about making $186,000 in cuts. Or, or what? the items that have been put off to the fall. Mm -hmm. You see the list of items that are put off to the fall? The they capital. don't get funded. We're going to be in a same right. place. Which is effectively a cut. I'm not questioning your. I'm just asking for you know, the bottom line. Is, and the bottom line seems to be that you want $186,000 in cuts from the town budget. Uh, we have to have a balanced have budget. I don't know what other way to get it. So. I mean, well, other yeah, than I mean, the other way is, I mean, there's two ways. There's another way is stabilization. But and we already agreed that we weren't going to do go down that path. Yeah. Right. So, so right. We were in collective agreement on that last. We were. Yeah. So we had to just so take. If I can just say, yes, everyone was in collective agreement, but there was a hope that the shortfall was not going to be as significant as it is now. If we are using, if we are assuming the house budget, it's, we had hopes that we were going to find more in saved expenses or found revenues. I think 
it is a different situation it than we matter. hoped for yeah. on April 1st. And down the road at fall town meeting or our next annual town meeting, we're going to be in the same boat or if not worse. Well, so somewhere we need to level fund right here, right now, and see what happens in the next year. Because we're, we we're, it, every year. It, I know yeah. we say that every year. Every and, year. And every year, and every year. Every year we're here. In April, yeah, this. Exactly, doing the same thing over and over again. Well, actually, we're a little better than we were last year. I guess last year it was May 4th, so. Good better. job, people. We're, we're a couple weeks ago. <laughs> well, it's all of us. <laughs> well, it's a good job for all of us. <laughs> I think, again, then if we want to go on and talk about the five year budget, I mean, we're. we're no, real... we don't want to talk about the five year budget. And we yes, don't want to we talk do. about five year production. Not tonight. No, we no, don't. We have to deal with fiscal year 16. I, if I, we're going to get down a rabbit hole if we talk about five-year projections tonight. I'm going to make this really clear. We asked the Department of Revenue to come in and <coughs> give us the recommendations. And the first recommendation was do a projected budget. Three years, five years. They suggested five. Yes. I think we're down to three years after, right. after next year. Right. If we approve FY16, as it is, and we push things off into the fall to try to fund them, FY17, using their numbers, this isn't a battle of finance committee numbers, select board numbers, other numbers, we, it's all we, numbers. Decided, we agreed to use right. whatever numbers were coming out. The FY17 shows us down 858,000. FY18, a million one. FY19, a million four. We haven't got a chance of getting to any of those numbers. Even if we're off by 50%, we don't have those revenues to, to come close to that. So, what, so we what have to plan. If we don't, if you look, if we get into what these numbers show, yeah. and you start trying to find cuts, yeah. The vast majority of the town budget is either fixed um, expenses like insurance or, or whatever, or it's it's people. Right. You know, that's right. it. Yep. And if you start to cut people, you've got to cut three people to save about 1.3, 1.4 people. You know, by right. the time you have to pay whatever the, the costs are, it isn't a one to one anymore. Right. It isn't even a two to one anymore. Right. So. I'm not willing, and I've said this since January, I'm not willing to put a cobbled budget together for FY16 without at least looking at FY17 or having a plan of how we're going to get from where we are to be financially secure in FY17 and 18. You're going to have to cut services. Say again? You're going to have to cut services. Well, we'll be forced to cut services if we don't right. come up with a plan. Right. So, but there's no, and and all, all the revenue projections throughout the last two years have not lived up to their expectancy, you know? They've exceeded it. They've, they've exceeded it. By more than $100,000. Mm -hmm. What's the number? It varies in different ones. Pardon? It well, varies. Yeah, we, we came up with somewhere in the two to $300,000 when I was looking at it with fiscal 15. And then you you worked out at some more Gilford and, and settled it down at 100. But we thought it would be higher than that based on the year to dates that we received through February. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not convinced yet that it isn't. So, so do you I, I, my feeling is when you get within the 100,000, I would be I think I think we may get another one, but then again, they did the projections for July one, and I, I, and are not coming up with that additional amount that we seem to have seen in the year to date. They don't seem to be coming through the projections for the July one capture. Right. So uh, uh, for fifteen, we've uh, our local receipts are estimated are at ninety five percent of uh, last year's. So we've increased steadily our local receipt expectations. So that's one of the reasons why the return has been dropping as we get closer. There's about $100,000 you could increase our estimates for 16 in the local receipts. 
So anything beyond that, I think we're asking for trial. On top of the 100 we already discussed? I think that includes the 100. That includes so we've already included that 100. Mm -hmm. So then the question is, what, what else is there out there? What about the pilot? The pilots, have, and the pilot number is low if, it, if all the pilot payments go into that account. So there's That's th very low. So there are three different uh, pilot uh, uh, sources of pilot. There's the Cherry Sheet pilot, uh, which is about $200,000. Um, I don't expect to see that drift to drift north. Then there's the payment in lieu of taxes for state-owned and federally-owned land. I think that that's going to increase. And then there's the pilot payments that we've been receiving from um, the solar installations, and that goes into new growth. So you see a bump in new growth. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why you're seeing it, that bump. Mm -hmm. So Where's the, the pilot from, not from Cherry Sheet is listed on here as pilot, not from Cherry Sheet. Where's the, the first pilot? First pilot would be in the Cherry Sheet in the state aid numbers. Okay. I didn't think in the year-to-date figures they were showing up in Cherry Sheet as if we had a, a pilot, I'm, I'm not able to get, get it up right now, but the, um, I thought in the Excel spreadsheet with the February year-to-dates, it was a separate item. Right. So that's the payment for properties such as the, the, the Amherst Wastewater Treatment Plant, the uh, Housing Authority, uh, and for property over on Moody Bridge Road. And it yeah. hadn't been, it had not been projected at that amount. So uh, an no, and, and I think that, I think I increased that uh, in the... That's part of the 100? That's part of the 100. So I think I increased that by $4,500 based upon our performance through February. And I just I just received another ninety six hundred dollars in the mail. That was from Moody Bridge, wasn't it? That was from so? Moody Bridge, so um, there's a little bit of growth there. <coughs> but it's it's really nickel and dimes. And I'll, but offer, no I'll offer a suggestion, a strategy. Let's Let's, um, and Howard won't like it, but that's almost. You haven't liked anything he said yet, so <laughs> um, tit for tat, I guess. Right. So we have 186,717 shortfall if we assume the House budget. Often the Senate does uh, get a little better. So what if we uh, decided that 86,717 will be found? either through passage of the state budget or underestimated revenues, and that we cut $100,000 in services, and that we cut that in some sort of proportional way, town schools. It's Howard? <laughs> Sorry, don't. <laughs> yeah, I was that isn't too bad. It, it isn't too bad. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> It isn't too bad, except for the fact that we told the departments, our departments and the town departments to come in at a certain number, and they came in at those numbers pretty much. And the bulk of what was asked for in the school was quite a bit more than that. So to go to one group of people and make them do a larger cut is hard. As for me, I have a hard time doing it. Um, well, I think she said, I heard you say proportional. Well, I no, did. No. And I she said proportional, but it's not proportional. So well, if, I didn't know well, if your <laughs> increase was 2% and I'm telling you to cut proportional to the overall budget and your increase was 5% and I'm telling you to cut in proportion, you're actually cutting less. Well, you, no, she said what's the what proportion is the school budget in the proposed budget to the town budget? But Traditionally, it's about 40% that you pay for the school. He's saying the school, the school went up at 5%. But you still look at the, the raw numbers. But it's a $495,000 increase. increase. And so what Guilford's saying, I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, let me try it. Saying, okay. But that's gonna, we came in with level services, so you cut us that way, you're going to lose services at well, the schools. No. Well, we're going to lose ramifications for your But you're going to lose time services time in the town, too. Guilford, can I right. go ahead? Can I get a different spin at it? Sure. Um, one of the things, we're looking at funding sources, so we're looking at revenues, and my recollection of the school presentation, and correct me if I'm wrong, but my recollection is there are a couple of, part of the reason that you didn't come in at 2% or whatever, relative to the line item here that we're trying to fund, 
um, is because you had grant a reduction in one of your other funding sources, oh, which are grants, right? Yeah. Um, and you were utilizing your incoming school choice, but preserving the, uh, yeah, incoming school choice revenue. And I, I remember it was up quite a bit, right? Like, it's up some. It used to be like a $390,000 figure right. or something that was used, and now it's up higher than that. Like 50, maybe? Um, so I'm just thinking to, to lend, so what we're really talking about are revenue sources here. Um, so what I was, road I was starting to go down is, would it be possible for the schools to utilize uh, shift the balance a little bit from the expected town funding amount and we cross our fingers and toes that the revenues come out to support covering another portion of it and I think we would be there. So it would be asking the schools to fund more right. um, but I think you'd still have a reasonably healthy Balance and I don't believe no, that the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so can, I, exactly. can I make so right? Can I make three comments? Sure. Three comments is my memory of our each department's assignment is that we were to come in with two scenarios of the budget: a level services budget, and then a budget that was two percent over what last year's was. Mm -hmm. We did that assignment, right. and that assignment showed that we would be cutting several positions. So, so to your point, yes, we came in with a, high per, a higher percent increase because of loss of grants and some increased Fed expenses, but we did the assignment. We didn't do anything different, I believe, than the rest of the departments did. That's number one. Number mm -hmm. two, remember that we are already using more of our school choice reserve funds than we are bringing in because since we submitted a budget to you we've added a special ed classroom at the elementary school so we're now using approximately five hundred and fifty thousand dollars of our reserve fund to get us to a level services budget and then three i totally agree with you that there should it, there should be some fair here but i feel like I understand that our budget came in high, but I feel like we've done several years in a row what you've asked us to do. And as you know, Molly, this will be the third year that the schools have asked, been asked to take the hit with some hope that in the fall it won't be that bad. Two years ago, you were watching television and ran to this meeting so that you could make sure the schools got what was promised to them. Last year, we didn't get any of that money back, so now this is the third year being asked to do that. I think, and it's April, and <laughs> we've been meeting as a tri board for three years in hopes of not being in this place where we are today. And so, I understand, Guilford, that you feel that our budget came in higher and we should take a higher proportionate cut, and maybe that's what will be the decision, but I also feel like we're using a huge amount already of our reserve to do a level services budget and do every single year. That's exactly the point we're trying to make. You're using as much of your reserve up as we're using out of our free cash or stabilization, and somewhere it's going to be down to zero. And then what are we going to do? That's where we're headed in the next couple of years. So and then so maybe, may I say, maybe we're looking at a two and a half override to make sure that we can serve our town and our residents and our children in the manner that they deserve and are demanding to be served. So, but that's not going to happen this yeah. year. Certainly yeah, certainly not. Yeah. We're not going to be. Yeah. So then the question is: Do do we take a little more free cash? Do we take a little more of this? Do we take a little more of that? Or do we just cut? Or do we take, do a combination? Well, there's not much on this side of the table, and as on your side, I mean, we come to a, I can't say the word I want to say, but anyway, a contest about where all the money goes, and it's like, we, we've done this for years. We are pitting departments against departments, yep. and we shouldn't have to do that, and each department feels that their department is the most important, and I agree. Every department is important to what their service is and what they do for the town. 
and it's very difficult to say you should cut education is important, but police and fire, they're they're every year they get cut. You know, I mean, so it's kind of we're sitting here, and Howard wants us to do a, a budget where the the money is so fluid with the state that it's not you can't count on it. You can't count on your grants every year. They keep to be going down every year. You know, it has for the last five years. So it's like um, nothing is stable. The reality is, you know, we've talked about this a little bit, and everybody here is right. We swore a year ago we were gonna make effort so that we weren't sitting here, and yet here we are again. Um, and until we raise this conversation up to a much higher level and work on this issue all year round, starting immediately after town meeting, and that involves planning, it involves managing the departments in a manner that will lead us to a, strate a true strategic planning effort. It means involving the town. I've gotten pushback just by having the ridiculous notion of having a public hearing to inform the town residents of what our budget situation is. We have to start doing this the way any other organization would. Um, but we need to get there. The God's um, honest truth is though, every other organization can have a budget when they sit down. We don't sit down with a cherry sheet that's a moving target, a, a representative that's a moving target, a Senate that's a moving target, and finally a proposal by the governor. I, I, 10 years ago when I was here, and we had this exact conversation going on that we're having going on today. And, and this is induced by, by not having actual numbers in front of us. If we sit here, we are, we're short $37,000, then we could sit here and make the cuts and be done with it. And that's why we've always put off the reclamation always until fall town meeting, after we get the true numbers in that we, that, that are, I can't say what I wanted to say either. <laughs> Lock solid numbers. And that's how we've always done it. I mean, there always has to be a town meeting. We, we put people through a second town meeting because we were working with a moving target, just like we did 10 years ago. But, but I think the point that, I believe the point that, that Linda was making is that, I mean, you threw out the, the, the terminology that nobody wants to hear, which is override. It's but it, it isn't just, we have, you know, potential issues in public safety that we may or may want to fund down the road and it may be a two to three year plan. There may be issues within DPW, infrastructure, build all of that stuff. And until we get it all out in front of us on the table and everybody is in agreement, yes, this is, these are the issues that we're facing as a town over the next five years to 10 years, whatever, you can't have an intelligent funding conversation about it. So I don't think we can talk about that now, and maybe that is never going to be in the works because we're going to have to decide that we truly do need to cut services at some point. So right now, the road I was going down was to the extent we can find other sources of revenue, without other sources of funding without making cuts, whether that's dipping a little bit more into the combination of the school choice and us you know, pushing up the revenue figure that we're using a little bit uncomfortably to get us through to have a balanced budget and then make a commitment that we are going to have intelligent conversations about strategic planning. We had intelligent conversations for a whole year. For two years now. Well, so, uh, so wait a minute. We actually had some good conversation. We came to some good points in this. And what we found out, and what we were finding out more and more every time, is, is that this is not an organization that is sustainable. I think right now, having, and I hate to say this, I like living here, I like the way this works, I like, I like being here. Um, we cannot fund what, we're at, what we think we should have. We cannot fund police, fire, schools, DPW, Rec parks and rec, we cannot fund library, we cannot fund any of this to the point we want it at. So, and at, at this, yeah, at this point, we're just, we're not living within our means right now because every budget has been going over the estimates. My point, I know I've been harping on it since two years ago. If you look at these numbers, a two and a half 
override, uh, an override for 2.5%, gives you roughly $300,000. You're looking at a million dollar deficit. You know, you're looking at seven, eight, ten percent, and if the people on an override to get to the, the numbers voted, that you're talking about. Right, That's so why I'm so concerned. And if the people vote it down, then you're going to be cut. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> having been part of this process all year, I just want leeway and continuing with. If we went. To the, if we had an extra 186,717, uh, does the select board agree that the budget that we has out there that we're trying to meet is a level services budget for everyone across the board? I think we agree with that. With the, we are, okay. and we do know we are adding a SPED service with this budget because it's either we add a SPED service or we pay outside. We don't have that in the budget. We didn't add it in the budget. You we didn't did not. Add it. We no, did we not add it in. So we are, we're using we're choice to, to cover that because we gave you a this budget year year. before we created it. So yours okay. is not a level services budget. No, they're saying that it is. Yes, it is. We consider it so. So if we consider it to be level services. If you consider them to be level services, whatever cuts you make, it seems to me, should be proportionately applied. I understand what you're saying about one department getting a lot bigger amount of money from the town revenues, but what they provided was a level services budget. And we sat here and heard a conversation that the bottom line of what they were receiving was really only up by 2%. It's not up by the 7% because of the loss in grants. So is that the kind of standard we're applying to other departments too? I don't think I we have absolutely. another department. I mean, it's a unique situation. It is a unique situation. Yeah. Well, and and the increase to the town is take the full loss. No, well, I don't. I I don't think we were saying that we were suggesting we push 187,000 off on the school. Uh, that certainly wasn't what I was saying. But I was saying, is there a way to, um, you know, looking at the free cash, be a little bit more aggressive in taking that into revenues? but asking that the, if the schools could do the same in terms of taking a little bit more from their other funding source to get us through to a balanced budget. Can you name a number? Hmm? Can you name, name a number? number? Name a number? Give uh, a number? 100. That's what I thought your number was going to be. I, I, I'm really, I'm not landed on anything. I'm just trying to figure out where, and part of the reason, Linda, is. I, I don't recall and I don't have anywhere and I don't actually think it was in your presentation what the, um, you know, like the roll forward on the school choice and, and that. I saw the grant money's coming down, but I, I was looking for a graph that had like all, all three of those funding sources, you know, the, the town contribution, the... Um, I don't think it was in a graph. I think it was in a table. It was a bar chart. Was right. it a bar chart? Yeah, I and I, I couldn't lay my hands on it. So. We either do that or we, we go ahead and agree to increase some of the revenue now and take some of the money from free cash. But are, are we saying, I mean, I think taking another 186 from free cash is a disaster waiting to happen. You didn't say take the whole thing from free cash. Yeah, so we're talking about a blend of some kind. So increase the revenue a little bit, which is what we said we agreed to, yeah. and then take a little more <coughs> from free cash. Right. So. If you're taking more from revenue, you're automatically taking it from what we've got as free cash. Yeah, I was just saying, they're so not mutually exclusive. It's the it's same, it's the same, same thing. pocket. Right. There's, there's certified free cash, and then there's what we expect for free cash. Yes, we're taking it from what we expect for free cash. We're not taking it from the certified free cash. We're not taking what? it all from the certified free cash. Certified free cash is one time money. Right. All you're doing is delaying the inevitable. You are. I agree with that. That we would cut. Although we don't know the makeup of last of the last year's free that cash. We, would agree that we know the makeup of what we ex expect for next year's free cash. Okay. No well, we should not have the penny what last what FY fourteen was. We don't know it right now. Plus we spent we spent large chunks of it already. Yes. 
we spent large chunks, we put some off in the capital, we put some here, we put some there. So what we have left in the certified free cash is just the 292. So would 93 and 93 work? 93,500, 93,500? Well, what are, you, what are you asking me? So, half. Well, this is, I, I, I have a hard time taking that kind of a cut when I've heard that revenue is underestimated by another 100,000. No, but we already, we already took the 100. Well, but I thought that Linda said that that was still underestimated. Right, and if it's another, so, I mean, so I'm saying 93. I mean, 93 is pretty close to the... You're asking us to cut 93? I, I, I'm tossing it out. I'm saying if we just split it, if we have a 187 shortfall and you guys can um, reduce the request to the town by 93 and then we take another, uh, increase our revenues by 93. I think if you increase the revenues, you take the revenues and you take that off the off the number, then you take the split if you want to do it that way. I do too, because then, yeah. because I think <laughs> what that is is you're cutting the schools. Yeah, Cause, Cause, yeah. Cause, that's gonna that's gonna be a cut. But but anyhow, we look at how we cut. Anyhow, how we look at cutting us or the school. We're now at the point we're cutting. We're cutting. It's All right. It's, and we may be there, but we need, but we need to openly say that. Yeah. We may be. So. Are we as a select board willing to say we need to increase the revenue and then use a little more free cash to balance this one? I say yes. I mean, all we're going to do is make a rep. This is our budget. It's going to go forward. If fall town meeting, there's adjustments like we always do. Uh, finance committee will probably not be happy with us. Uh, Let's ask. They're right here. Well, I got, I got we, one. We may change it. You may they may recommend changing it. Right. Yes. But tell me, is a lousy place to do that. Well, so, well, so let, let's no, just talk about the free cash here. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do that? Yeah. Do, you, do you want to just say what you were saying? Uh, well, I think that we thought some of the pieces are out here. Some, if, if we cut, if you're talking about uh, adjusting revenues somewhat, um, and we've got that $75,000 flux, and then maybe we've got some more else. I, I, I would say that if we could knock 83,000, call 83,000 of it, either revenues or the, the Cherry shoots are going to get fixed or something like that. I don't think that's too generous. I don't think that's too liberal. I think what's the first part? First part? That, uh, that seventy-five thousand dollars in the house, the, in the house. Uh, between the house and the mm -hmm. governor's so that's some right. cherry shoots. And so then, if so, we assume that's relatively safe to assume that it will be there, we cut a hundred thousand dollars total out of from the budget. budget. Then we sort of split the difference there. And mm -hmm. split the difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, and worst case scenario is comes fall and that doesn't happen. Where is the funding mechanism for it at that point in time? Where the free cash is. That's free cash, yeah. And then free we cash. may have to dip well, in stabilization. Yeah, then the money's not going to go into capital. The, the 300,000 meals tax. That's right. right. And then next year we're going to be here at this time right. at double yeah. what yeah. And you won't be talking stabilization, you'll be talking layoffs. So, or override. Yeah. Or, or override. Right. And the override talking. would be substantial. Yes. Right. Right. Any, any and cuts and if it's the voted down, then we're back to cuts. Well, any cuts well, we're talking about now right. is a layoff. There is no cut you can make in the town budget, which isn't telling someone you don't have a job or some people you don't have a job right now. Because we can't, it's, if we take the 75 out, we're, we're back to, you know, one, we're one, 110. Mm -hmm. yeah. We split that, that's 50,000. Right. And that's people. There is not a 50,000 number we have anywhere in the budget that you can take out. We're taking a person out. We're taking two people out. Because we've deferred a lot of stuff to the fall. It's just not even in there. So we use free cash? We either use part of free cash or in a revenue adjustment or part of free cash and assume the 75,000. We don't use a seventy-five thousand. So we st so we stay with the governor's governor's budget. So then we can use free cash for the one ten and change, or we use half the that.
You want to jump in? <coughs> the main difference in the uh, governor's budget is the, the increase in the assessment. Everything, uh, every, if, if we can attack the assessments, that would, uh, that would take a lot of pressure off the situation. So anything we can do about uh, school choice, school uh, uh, charter reimbursement, um, that's what we need to do. We need to be on the horn talking to Senator Rosenberg and to Representative Seibach. These are costs that are just simply out of our control at this point, but uh, that's the state aid picture. With respect to the, uh, the local aid, you know, uh, the, the local receipts, I don't know how much more we can squeeze out of that number without getting ourselves into trouble at tax uh, time. Can I comment that, and I know we've had this conversation so many times, and I, that asking, I feel like you want the schools to take the full cut because you feel like our stabilization account is somehow different than the town's stabilization account which you are kind of holding sacred. And for us, as we have said many times, we are trying to hold a balance in our stabilization account too, so that we can accommodate unexpected sped expenses and not come back to the town. And the more that we use that, the less able we're to do that. So if the schools are to take more than a $50,000 cut, it will be a cut. It's not gonna be just go and use our cushion. Please stop thinking of it as a cushion. Please think of it as the same sacred stabilization account that we're trying to hold sacred on the town side. I ask you to please consider it that way. Well, and so I understand, so it's fine, we alert, need to cut, we need to cut. And so let's make the decision, but let's not try to say that if it's put off on the schools, it's not a cut because it will be. So if we take that approach, and we take our, our approach that we, don't, we want the stabilization account to be 10%, there is a little bit left over. We're a little bit over the 10% mark right now. Mm -hmm. So if we take a little bit, they take a little bit. Take it out of stabilization. A little bit. Right, and the reason the reason that we were pretty adamant about not doing that is because of the projections, which we don't know how great they are, but the projections were indicating that we were going to be coming right back down. We are. Yeah. But we're over the, our, we're over our goal of ten percent now. What's stabilization at right now? Two point. Two, 2.2 million, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but I just, I just want to go back to the argument here because the, the town contribution requested increase is almost 8%, right? It's almost an 8% increase over what was contributed last year. Schools. For schools. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's 495000 on $6 million, right? So let's take a big breather here. Um, we've gone an hour. Do we want to break for a little while, get some of the appointments out of the way, everybody sit, think, and come back <coughs> afterwards? Is that going to make a difference? No, but no, the, not the, not. The, the hallway's full enough. Yeah, well, let's, let's um, why don't we just make a decision? Do. I think we should do, do the free cash for this round until the fall. In the fall, think about it. You can't do the whole free cash in our account. We were using part of the free cash in your budget. Right, but we have the other, the other free cash. 37,000. Stabilization. Huh? Stabilization. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't have to look at stabilization until the fall. Then you know how things are playing out. Well, not if we we have ninety one thousand in the budget. We're asking for ninety one thousand of free cash now for mm -hmm. FY fifteen. Mm -hmm. So now our free cash is down to two two hundred even. 
and there's a couple other things in there. So we would. There's some, yeah, some requests that were made last time. Uh, I just keep saying the same thing over. You can't fund everything. You've got to pick and choose what you want to fund. You can't fund everything that's on the warrant and then come back and say, oh, we're going to do free cash for our operating budget. You know, it, it just doesn't work that way. It doesn't. What's now your we, recommendation? We, we well, I'd like to see it to in paper. I'm old fashioned. I like to sit well, down and actually think about something rather than shooting off the hip here. Yeah, but we need a strategy to give you something on paper. Right. But well, we're now I've been saying that since January. Where's well, the financial plan? We actually We've been saying uh, it since the day after town meeting. <coughs> right. We were actually so pretty good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, we are close, and we were pretty good until we decided to throw this other. Maybe that was a mistake. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> maybe we just have to stop at a certain point. Oh, and, and, and instead of every time. single week we got another letter, a different yeah. change in the charity yes. at some point. So then boom, you have to say that's <coughs> it. Go back to where it was two weeks ago. We were making progress. <laughs> 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 yeah. So we go back two weeks ago, we're at one seventy two seven seventeen. Right. We're still yeah. short, 172, 717. No, so no, no. minus, minus the 61,000. 61, right. What is it? Minus, minus the 61,000. Oh, minus 61, yes. 111,000. So yeah. I'm only off by 100,000. Right. So again, I'm, I'm yeah. suggesting if the school would be willing to decrease the requested town contribution amount by call it $50,000, and then we fund the balance, whatever that is. I, th I think that is, why are you shaking your head, Howard? Because you're not making a cut on the town side. You're asking them to make a $50,000 cut and then saying, we'll find 50000 to fund the, the town side. No, it's not a cut. They're not, a cut is when a budget is actually reduced and you do not expend the funds. They would continue to expend the funds that they're planning on. It's just they would utilize, if, if we're utilizing free cash and then they're reducing the requested amount and they're utilizing some school choice, 50000 more of school choice, that's all. The, the, mo the money that they requested from the town is going down by $50,000. That's correct. Right? Their budget is how not they get, going how down. How they get that other 50000 is up to them. Up to, it's up up to, to them. The I mean, they've, got to, they've got to fund the day-to-day -day operations. But I agree wholeheartedly with what Linda just said. You need a reserve. Every well-run operation needs a reserve. Right. And do you know what the reserve is? is? So, so we're down to 111. Yeah. 111, 717. I love that 717. I love yeah, that. that's an important one. So we have 292 in free cash. We would only need 50. 55. You're just pushing it down. You're kicking the can down the road again. That's right. Make the fifty thousand dollar cut. The we same are. way as they're going to make a fifty thousand dollar cut. They're not making well, they fifty thousand dollars. They're not making fifty thousand dollars. You don't know what we're doing. You don't know that. They're going to take it out of the reserve. Have they, have, they agreed, have, they agreed, have they agreed? Have they agreed to make a fifty thousand dollar cut? Everything I keep hearing from them is they don't want to make a fifty thousand dollar cut. Of course we don't. Neither do you. We, no one That's does. Right. That's right. So, That's the compromise that we're working on, correct? But Correct. you haven't that's said you would make the compromise. You keep saying, no, you're not going to make it. I thought, no, that's you what she proposed. That's it. Uh, yeah, when we're, we're in agreement, agreement and then. Her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, they're so saying they're going to reduce what they're asking the town to pay in the budget by $50,000. You're saying right. you're going to find 50000 out of free cash or some other source so that you can keep your budget that's requested at the same level. Or we may reduce our budget right. somewhere by 50000 That will be up to us to determine that. Yeah. That, yeah. Is, that is ours. Excellent. But you can't reduce that's our... That's theirs 50. Ours is 50, 61. You can't reduce our budget $50,000. You cannot sure you do can. it. If, if we're we're going to say now we're going to reduce the budget 50000 and we're going to lay off two people or three people July 1. But so which, which three people are we laying off? You can, there's nothing in our budget to cut to add up to fifty thousand dollars. Let's have this discussion. Let's just let's just divide it. We'll do it. If we find what we can make another recommendation somehow elsewhere. That's that's ours. That's ours to I, I know. But I've sat so, here and gone through this numbers 
There is not another fifty thousand dollars in our budget. But there might be some other ways that we can explore to come up with. If we come up with another way besides cutting, we need to offer that same opportunity to the schools. Well, okay. yes. Yeah, so let's let's do that. This let's is just now, say for right now, let's just split it, and then we can come up with if we can find other means. So it's fifty-five five. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Sixty-one seven seven. Oh, that's what I said. 717. That's my math. Once again, I'm going to request that the select board give us a budget in writing so that we can review it and be ready for town meeting recommendations. Do we make we, we got need three weeks now? Mm -hmm. It's the latest that it's ever been since I've been on the finance committee. Actually, no. Yes. Last year, no. we were the, Wait, the, we were the meeting before. Yeah. We were down to a couple thousand dollars ten thousand I guess the worst it's been is you guys had a budget we had a budget a few years ago and we're ready to go to town meeting until somebody changed <laughs> we went through this so that we wouldn't get in that position so are you guys reasonably agreeable to that, that the proposal? working hypothesis is yes yes the working yes. hypothesis okay. I like that so we need to have a, a working hypothesis end date so what meeting are we going to now make our end date are we going to make our I'm well, not I, it seems to me we've got numbers now that we've put on paper. So we can give it to. No, so I'm, I'm, I'm serious. This, is, this isn't yeah. a joke. The, the town bylaw it. says it's supposed to be done in January. And we keep going through this and we keep saying we don't want to have a fight. We want to work together. We want to have this. And that every year it goes further and further and further <coughs> down the line. And we're stuck at the end. Either we rubber stamp the thing without a discussion, or if we come up with something, you're saying, oh, you do it at the last minute. It's last minute cuts. No, give us a little bit of time so we can do our jobs. We're trying to reach an agreement so that we can do just that, Howard. I'm right. So I that's where, that's where but we're not the next meeting. So no, I but I think the next meeting means a, a version goes to the finance committee. The finance committee mm -hmm. has time to review, assess, digest, yep. right. and then the next meeting is the finance committee reporting back and saying, saying we can do this it either works or does not. That's right. Yep. So, so I think I agree. we're agreed on that. So our next meeting is the meeting before, it's is the 29th? Next week. No, it's next week. Isn't next it? week we have a meeting. No, we don't have no, one scheduled next week. Well, then we should schedule the one next week. No. This is budget time. If we have to be here next Wednesday, we'll be here next Wednesday. That's fine. If you want to be here next Wednesday. Are you coming? No. Let's go over. No. You're on vacation next week. You're on vacation. Okay. Yeah. You're on vacation. I'm in Texas. It's that thing called school. The school budget has this thing called a vacation in the middle of it, and everyone goes away. So what are we looking at then? What day? That's a choice. We either make a, make a decision tonight and give them a, a budget, and we start, and then we have to come back. Our next meeting would be the 20, 29th, then. right? David, when does it have to be published for uh, that meeting? So I have to post no later than uh, April 30th. Uh, so the 29th would be the pretty much drop dead done deadline for the posted warrant. You can continue to work on the budget because the budget is not presented uh, in the warrant itself. But to have something for town meeting members two days before, three days before? Uh, it's, always, it's always helpful to have information as early as possible. Uh, we have, we have uh, printed, present, printed this stuff out and handed out uh, the night of town meeting. That has happened. I remember it well. So I guess we could wrap up our discussion here. I mean, mm -hmm. It's on the budget. It's on our agenda to talk about the budget as well. So we get to talk about it some more and decide if we're going to set our budget as it is now. And okay. Yes? No? Yes. What did we just do? Did we schedule a meeting? No. We have we have been on the agenda to talk about on the select board meeting at the select board meeting. <coughs> we'll continue it and, and try to resolve it then. It's right here, warrant review and sign the warrant. On the twenty nine or one. We're gonna talk Seven tonight. Five. Tonight, later tonight. 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 Sorry. <coughs> In a half hour or so. We have no time we're sitting outside. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
So is that? Okay. I tell you, we, we spent a lot of time in a little group of us working together, and we were right there. And now we just it just all in, unraveled, and it's uh, it's to sit and spend a year doing this and know what we went through and what we discussed. Um, what's facing the town is some pretty interesting questions now, and, and yeah. getting critical. It, well, it really we'll it's make this. Changing. We'll make this year, and then it will be a, fa a discussion about what is our services we keep. I mean, it, it'll, it's, we're, we're at that point, unfortunately. And unfortunately, we didn't get the number. We were not. We're not at the point to have discussions with people because we can't give them any number except this is bad, and this is where it's going to be badder later. And, and we're expecting more with all the other things that are on our agenda. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so we're going to, we'll break, we're going to start bringing in the other people and going through our agenda, and then we're going to go back to the warrant review and the budget during that time. Mm -hmm. So are you expecting finance and schools to stay? If they want to. <coughs> we want to finish, if we want to close out the warrant article discussion, we're ready to go back into the omnibus budget mm -hmm. if we're ready. I'm ready. Is the audience ready? <laughs> Let's go. So, we're still at this 170. Nope, we're. 111. 111. No, no, we're down to 111. 111. 111. <laughs> okay. So my personal preference, this is just me personally. I know, I just the one minute for the board. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards taking a little bit more out of free cash. And I'm ready to take about 60000 out and then split the difference after we do that. I suggest that you just total the free cash. I was just trying to keep a running balance of what you just spent. Mm -hmm. And if my numbers are correct, you started with seven, seven thirty-seven, four thirty-eight. You took out a hundred thousand dollars in revenues, excess revenues, to put towards the omnibus budget. Uh, you just spent another hundred and twenty-three thousand dollars in the uh, warrant. Uh, so you left with about five hundred and fourteen thousand dollars of free cash. Mm -hmm. OPEP is 244.8, capital stabilization is 300, that total comes to 544,000. So you're in the hole $30,000 of free cash. If we actually if go forward actually. with capital stabilization. Right. right. I agree with Howard's numbers. I do too. If you go forward with capital stabilization. And, and OPEP, I mean, theoretically, if it isn't funded yet, there's, I'm That's not suggesting we shouldn't, but theoretically, neither one of them is but we, but we, on the table. So this hundred, so we're showing, we're believing we might get another $100,000 in revenue that beyond what we already just programmed into the revenues, may, may not. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of split half that BD and spent it, is my... I'm big on your cliches. We're still They're your friends. Diamond to next year. You are, but you either have to cut a large chunk out of this operating budget, which then, if we want to, I mean, we can we can go through and cut fifty thousand dollars out of our operating sixty thousand dollars out of our operating budget now. And here, here's my problem with that. My problem with that is I is I don't think we have enough information to actually do that right and until we have enough information to make intelligent decisions about the departmental services and budgets then i don't think we should because we would just be effectively taking a we, flyer to a point we do know 
that what we have in the town side and what the school has presented to us is the level service budget. Mm -hmm. So everything mm -hmm. we take out reduces service. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I'm not in favor of that at this time. Of reducing services. At, at this time. Right. I'm not saying for perpetuity, but I think we have to have some difficult discussions, but we don't have enough information to do that in an intelligent way. Okay. We all understand Howard's numbers are we'll put us at 544 if we fund the capital stabilization at 300000 Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we funded the capital stabilization at some number less than the $300,000, that took into account our part of the half of whatever was left over after the 61 was committed. <clears throat> Until fall town meeting when our numbers are solidified. And if the numbers do come in higher with the other two budgets, the money gets identified and goes back to stabilization. Does that work? Capital, 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 capital stabilization. Capital stabilization. So we're not appropriating Let's any money at this, at this meeting to capital stabilization. Yeah. Well, Howard has it worked in that we were going to commit to 300000 No, no. The numbers that are set forth, I was just trying to keep a running total yeah. of okay. free cash. Right. Okay. Because we have a nasty yeah. habit of spending it projected over and over. Yes. Yeah. Projected, so free just cash. projected free cash. Projected free cash. Right. Correct. So we put off OPEB to the fall, and we put off capital stabilization to the fall. Mm -hmm. So we, we kind of said we're going to do this, so that what would have to happen to undo this is when the fall comes, we say, no, we're not going to do capital stabilization. We're going to do something else with capital. Mm -hmm. So right. does that make sense? It does, but now I think Howard wants some commitment from everybody in this room as to where that money is coming from and what our intentions are of how to balance this budget now mm -hmm. and where it would go in the end. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is that a right. fair assumption? So if you what I, what I want to know is that seven million dollars with the open, what direction are we going with that by not funding it? See, I didn't say a word about that. I, we left. I left that. I left the two forty four. I left the two forty four in there. I didn't even. Uh, I didn't go with that at all. So we did. That's a difficult conversation. Yeah, we haven't said we're not going to fund open. I mean, capital is actually the one that really that has the most flexibility. If we lay our capital plan out and then come back and do an override for the capital, or th then we then we have a different. If we go, all our capital goes to the buildings and only a small amount goes to to uh, equipment. Prop equipment, then that's a different number too. Um, we still have a lot more play, play in the capital world than we do in any other world right now. We have options, which we don't elsewhere. Right. right. Yeah. Options better than play, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. So that's that's how I'm looking at it, and yes, it is kicking it down the count down the road a little more. But we also don't know everything we need to do with all the buildings, and when we get to the point after the consultants on board and we decide which building we do next or don't do next, that may free up more money for us. I mean, if we decide that one building is going to go away and. Then there's a well, also don't forget that you've committed to an IT plan and you know that you have some significant issues in IT mm -hmm. that are going to need capital funding. Correct. And so mm -hmm. you take away from capital, I don't know what you're going to do there. But I think the, the point, Lynn, is that if, if, I mean, I'm wholeheartedly in favor of, of supporting an IT plan, although, again, we need more information. Um, and some, some of those are really investments that are ultimately going to save us money. I mean, I, I can't take this paper anymore. I really can't. I've got a bucket at home that I just keep dumping paper into. So we had a good presentation a while back about the board docs, or whatever they're called. I understand I think there are a lot of that, things. a lot of the IT are computers that we have that aren't working. Right. So Agreed. that's not going to save any money. You're but just going to give people equipment that actually work. Well, I think it'll save a boatload of money because people can be much more efficient in their jobs and probably get no. things more done, but um, I think that so the point is that we have other funding mechanisms that we can utilize to resolve that problem. So we can put it on town meeting floor for... In <coughs> I just have a lot of experience with an institution that spent a lot of years cutting capital to balance the budget, mm -hmm. and now there's a huge, huge problem. <coughs> but we need a plan. 
And in the absence of a plan, we can only deal with what's in front of us right now. Right, so. but it kind of, if you don't have any money, it's hard to put a plan together. But we see the problem ahead of us, and we're doing nothing to fix it at this point without cutting right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually have done a lot. We just now really understand that the next step after this is is the knife mm -hmm. or or an override something else gutsy. Gutsy. Ooh, that was gutsy well i mean you know i, I hear what you're saying john but we got to do something here i understand but when the people vote it down you need to take that and put it in the back of your mind 25 percent of our population is on a fixed income and they can't afford what they're paying now jerry so we got to take a little bit of pride in our job here that the people elected us to do and set some ground rules and start moving ahead. We, we have to do it. And so we're, we've been out of control for too long. So that, that's all we haven't been in control for very so, long. So that is my, that's the, my, I asked my throw out there. If anybody else wants to throw something else out there. I agree, I agree with that. I think we should do that for now. So Can somebody fine. restate that? Can you restate it, Bill? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> now you're fine. It's party. A hundred yeah, hands. Wait a minute. <laughs> Take a drink. <laughs> we don't know what's in his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> we all want to know. I'll be happy to bring some for everybody next time. Sure. Um, so we're down to 111, 7, 17. Okay. So uh, we spent. Uh, free, uh, current certified free cash, we're down to 171,373. So I say take 50, six, 55 out of that, take 55 out of that and apply it to the 111, and then we split the remainder. Split meaning? We take 50% for the town side and they cut 50% out of the school side. So Oh. We're just going to say how that happened. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to go. Yeah, what you said? 55 came out of the 171, didn't it, to get you to the 111? Is that all feasible yep. to everybody? Yes. So, the, so 56, we split. Yeah. 56, 56 7, 7, 7, 7. 7. Yeah. <coughs> That's everybody share 56. You sure? No, half of 56, 717. Right. 28, 28, say that again. You sure we didn't start with 171, 717, and then take the 55 out of that and then split what was left of the 111? We had 172. All right, I'll, I'll go all the way down. All right, okay. We had 172, yes. 717. <laughs> And then we all agreed to stop listening to the House of Representatives and listen to the governor only. Good Republican people, that's what we decided to. <clears throat> hey, no one hit me. <laughs> I'm tempted. <laughs> Go ahead. So that put us to 172, 717. And then we subtracted out the 61,000 that we're taking out of workers' comp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That brings us down to 111717. And if you take 55,000 from free cash, certified free cash, we're now down to 56,717. And then we divide that in half. Howard? I want to see it. I mean, it's nice when we total it. I want to see that the, those numbers actually total. But okay. in principle, yes. Oh. Okay. Write it up. Yep. Okay. Motion. So that's what we're going to propose for our budget, which means then we have to decide after this How we where we take our, our ours, and we just take that bottom line off the schools, and they decide where it comes off theirs. Because we vote the school as a line item, right? Yes. Yes. And then we and vote our departments want. as line item, so we have to adjust our lines. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. I'm not used to that part, so I, I have to be reminded of that. All right. So assuming that's done, paperwork gets done tomorrow, it's in the finances' hands, it's in the school's hands, and it's in our hands. Do we need a meeting next Wednesday? Well, I know you're not going to be here. We'll do that next.
we'll, we'll, we'll do if we, if we agree to this and we and we pass this motion, then we'll go back and we'll cut our lines next. Motion second on the floor. Motion second. Motion. Second. All right. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Okay. So now the uh, well, do we want to talk about next meeting or? So we'll have numbers by the end of the week. You you should have numbers by tomorrow. They should be now tomorrow. Because we're, we're going to do it next it's Thursday. I'll give you the day. Nick, please tell me what those numbers are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're not going to make those decisions in open meeting. Yeah, we are. Well, yeah, we can't go into executive session because we didn't post it, so we have to talk about it now in open meeting. Oh, you already? Yeah. Line items. I'm sorry. Did we just schedule a meeting? We're not we have not. Do we meeting? want to have a meeting next week? You're not here. You and Linda aren't here. I'm not here. I am. Do we want to have a meeting on the 29th, which we actually have we to are. now have a meeting on the 29th? Right. Okay. Yeah. My board or just... It's just the regular select. Like, yeah. The only the only thing on that should be the final warrant preps. Well, if, if the finance committee is coming back with significant disagreements, correct. With the we're, budget. we're gonna if we can get the paperwork by Friday. Yeah. We'll meet early next week. If we can also get a copy of the final warrant, so that we can do that at the same time. So you're not going to have your warm recommendations ready before an hour before town meeting, are you? Well, unless you guys keep changing them like you always do, it's tough to do. You know? Lawyer, you know our numbers are. <laughs> sure is You've been known to change them too. Oh yes, we have. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Am I good this one? Are we having a tri-board meeting on the 29th? No, we're not having a tri-board meeting. We're just going to have a select board meeting and discussing the. The, uh, but I, I thought, Molly, you were suggesting that if the Finance Committee has significant, dramatic, significant yeah. changes, we, we might want to try it. Right. Right. Or you go back okay. to your school committee, and the school committee says no way, right? Theoretically. So Theoretically. we're going to start at <laughs> six for a tri board meeting, select board meeting, slash. At least, uh, and then tentative. Tentative? Yeah. That's what I all right. Okay. okay. So, do we want to finish our? our um, do we want to talk about what we're going to cut, or do we want to talk about what we? Um, the rest of the art. Let's, the, uh, let's just finish this whole thing here first. You want to finish the agenda, and then we'll go back. Okay. So. Thank you. Thank you.